G'day. Um, just thought this morning I'm going to ring the council tax because um, I found that we're all council have admitted that council tax is in fact unlawful and they've set a legal precedent by basically removing a liability order on the basis of a letter written um, basically stating, asking that, that well, saying that uh, he, he, we can advise that I accept your offer to pay the council tax conditional upon the following. Um, and he says that you can demonstrate there is a contract between Wirral Council and me, um, the name, the man, uh, and not Mr. Such and Such, the person and a corporation. Um, that the Wirral Council have given full disclosure as required by common law, i.e., the services being offered, um, manifestation of intent, uh, terms and conditions are lawful. But yeah, to cut you'll, see, you'll see what I'm saying. I'm just going to give him a tinkle and um, we'll see how it goes anyway. Oh, morning. Um, may I speak to somebody in the council tax department, please? Yes, yeah, certainly. Just put you through. Thank you. Good morning, council tax. Can I help you? Oh, good morning. Um, I've just got a couple of questions just regarding um, the, the the council tax. Um, I was wondering if you might be able to help me. Um, I'll do my best. Right. I'm just wondering. Um, Obviously, like once the tax is put into action, I, I'm, I'm led to believe that that's a contract. That would be a contract between Chichester District Council and um, myself, or the person that would be Mr. So and So, um, the person in a corporation. I'm just wondering if you if you can tell me whether or not it's a really easy question. If um, the council tax, that with the letters that get put through the door and the request for it, can you tell me if the council tax is actually lawful? Well, I know it's. it's, part, it's, it's I know it's. I know it's a statute law, but I know that statute law. This is just something I'm. I'm just very intrigued about. But a, a statute law um, needs. To, you actually have to consent. It, it's. It's basically classed of law. Law of the sea, and it doesn't. I'm just making sure that council tax isn't a common law tax. Um, I just want to make sure it's lawful and not legal. I know it sounds seems a bit pedantic, but if right, okay. if it's You're not. Asking the wrong You'd probably be better off speaking to someone on the legal side of things. Cool. You, am I able to speak to someone um, from the legal I'll, I'll team? I'll speak to my team leader. He's the first place to start with. Ah, Just give me a moment. Thanks very much. Hello? Good morning. How I I've just got ever such a quick question. Um, it's a really simple. Well, it might sound simple, but it, it it's very interesting. I'm wondering if you're able to tell me whether the council tax is actually lawful. Right now, it, it, I'm not I'm, I'm not going to be condescending, but you're asking a question. Do, do you, why do you think it's not legal? Then? I didn't say it's not legal. I'm just asking you if I want if, to see if you guys can tell me whether or not council tax is lawful under common law well, and well, not you under. Need, you need to speak to MP because. Primary legislation set down for council tax is not is not created by the local authority. No, but that's just I, I'm I'm led to believe it's a statute law and not common law. So I'm just I saying. No, you're, so you're one of the. I assume you've come across this website about common law, which unfortunately a few other members of the public have done. Right. And, and unfortunately, those customers during the process will be going to court or going to court. Yeah. But they, they, there's no legal defence for that. Wait, there's no legal defence. You know, Uh, and and the legal f and the legal fiction. I mean, uh, obviously, because uh, obviously the um, the council, Chichester, not the council, rather the courts, the magistrates' courts, they themselves are actually a corporation. So. No, no that, you're, so you're reading off. Of, you're reading all this information off a of website than many other companies. I'm I'm not currently reading it off of a website. I've actually read okay. into the. In, I've actually done some research, 
and it does seem that there is. Um, but Wirral District Council have, have actually themselves um, admitted that the tax is unlawful and set a legal precedent by removing a liability order from a customer. No, you're, again, you're reading, you're reading out of the website that, 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 that council's done that. that the, the, the law's not changed. No. The issue's that any customer has with the law, they right. have to discuss with the magistrate. Now, right. it, at the end of the day, if you're saying you don't recognise the call, then the call will just, they won't, they, they'll just say fine and they'll continue on with the action. But they can't they, hold any, um, they can't they, they, hold they, any they, judgment they, over me, the human being. They can't hold, they can only basically hold a judgment over my birth certificate, they, they, which is the legal they, fiction. They, 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 no, that's, that's, the that's the law. have to go all the way to, to the, the court. High court. No worries. You wouldn't have to go to the High Court though, because this guy here is basically written off, and then he's got an email back, and I'll read you the email. Um, I can I can read you the email. Further to my telephone call on the 21st of 7th 09 at 17.22, I hereby confirm that it is my intention to withdraw the application for a liability order in respect of council tax account reference. As the application to withdraw this proceedings can be dealt with in your absence, your attendance at court tomorrow will not be required. So that is, that's from um, Lisa Rodden at Wirral um, District Council. Wirral Council, but her, that's her personal choice. It has it's no legal precedent across the country whatsoever. Yeah. That's her, Interesting. Another local government officer like me, she's made that decision off her own back. Yeah. And it's right across the country. Yeah. And that's her personal choice. Yeah. I'm not going to be in her shoes, to be fair. What, uh, well, she's kind of basically adhered to common law, you know, and stuff like the Magna Carta. No, 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 no. no. It's not for her. It's not her job to interpret the law. No. The law can only be interpreted by a court, okay? Yeah. We, we administer the legislation. If a customer feels that we've done it incorrectly, right. okay, there's a legal recourse to do that. There's a legal um, recourse, yeah, not a lawful that, recourse. If they can afford it, then, then good luck to you. But also, at the same time, the court will only let it go further if, if it's up to them to decide if it will yeah. go further. But then again, it's it is... But I don't have to. Oh, that court, I don't. If basically, oh, if they offer me a summons, though, if they offer sorry, me a I sorry, I was going to say, if, if if they offer me a summons, um, if they offer me a summons, isn't that just an invitation to attend? And and is no, no, but That's when correct. when you get a summons, isn't yeah. the legal definition of a sur a summons uh, an 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 in it's almost like an invitation to attend? It's not. I can I can politely decline to attend as the human being and the legal fiction. I don't represent right. the name on my bait birth certificate. Oh, I'm, not, I'm not a solicitor. I don't work in the no. legal department. Okay? I'm, I'm, because I'm, I'm trying to work out how I'm going to word a letter to you to right. say that I don't give consent to the tax. Okay. I've had this from another customer okay. already. In advance, I would tell you that the authority's opinion after taking legal advice yep. is that you will go, if you don't pay your council tax, you will have to, to for your actions to a magistrate. Yeah. Not necessarily. And at that point, you can discuss with the magistrate all your common law rights. Concerning common law. And the common law jurisdiction. If, if, but if I, that's brilliant. You, they will. If they don't want to hear you on that time, then they will then, act, they will, at all costs, etc., from that point. To the birth certificate and not to me. <laughs> Okie dokie. No, but the what I'm saying to you is, is that if you want to take it further, you're going to have to go through the legal system that you don't agree with. Do you understand what well, I'm saying? Well, in a, in a sense, yes, and in a sense, no, because I've, see, I've seen some other cases getting dismissed on the internet um, where the, the person hasn't given their consent um, to the hearings being conducted. And then instead of it, I, I, if, if I was to be summoned to court, I, as, a, as a human being, I have a common law right. If you, if you, let, if you let me finish, just for one second. No, sorry, I think you're being quite... What you're trying to do, you're asking the authority, which is the district council, to legitimise you not paying your council tax. What I'm saying to you is... But if I don't give you any information, you don't have my name or anything. do what you feel you think is correct, OK? Then the consequences of that will happen. Yeah, I mean... I mean I, Why not? That why, why, why not? Why can't I, if I say to you guys, I think your tax is unlawful. You can't ask somebody to say that um, you say I don't agree with your authority, but, but, you, but can you tell me that I don't have to pay? Well, no. Well, what I've, well the one question which I've, I I rank, if if you don't mind me just asking the question that I initially asked you in the very first instance, which I don't think you've you answered yet, the is, is the council tax lawful? 